I'm Steph. I'm Michael. And today we're checking out Yosemite from yeah. WizKids. Yeah, and it plays uh, two player. Yeah, it's a oh, two it's player. Got, it's specifically two player. So yeah, it's a little short twenty minute game. Um, super cute. Um, set collection. Set Animal collection. collection. Yeah. yeah. So you uh, you're trying to take pictures, which is near and dear to your heart. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> going through Yosemite and t trying to take pictures of the animals. I like that. Yeah. Should They're we take a look? Your friends. Yeah, let's take a look at this. It's beautiful. I love the cover, by the way. It's really nice. I agree, absolutely. So check it out. We've got this uh, cool setup here. I am going to. I am actually going to move I'm gonna actually start where do I want to start with this in the space so as a star player you choose a position on the map the second player will choose a position after you I've already done so he's changing his mind I have changed my mind you start with three I, tiles and I started first and I did not look at my tile so each player starts with three tiles and we are trying to collect these tiles even more tiles in order to create sets so that you can take pictures for example if you take this picture at El Capitan you need to have a fox a bear and a snake um, so there are going to be four of these cards out at one time um, sometimes you will see cards that say uh, two of the cards will say uh, most bighorn sheep uh, or some other sort of majority. I believe uh, there are there's one for each of the five animal types. So most foxes and most bighorn sheep. Um, when you are playing with, actually, how, does it change for a number of players? It's just two players. Oh yeah, it's always two it's players. It's always two Didn't players. Didn't we just say that? Yes. <laughs> always a two player game. Look at that, we put the Yosemite down here in the corner. Sure. Um, so, um, we'll always have two of these pictures up at once and always have two of these judge cards up. Uh, whenever we claim one of the pictures, we will replace uh, replace these. So, uh, ultimately, what you're trying to do is you're trying to just get as many victory points as possible. Now, the key is to um, be able to move around on the board and try to collect things before your opponent does. Obviously, I am blue since I play blue and your meeple is the red one and look at they even have the little they're photographer meeples they have a little camera mm. built into the meeple it's so cute big chunky meeple so we're gonna play some sideways so you guys can see them <clears throat> on your turn uh, there are three phases uh, the first phase is the eat fish phase it's optional it lets you um, move by eating fish so you can either you can spend as many fish as you want to move one space for every fish that you eat um, then after you have eaten all the fish that you want then you can explore you have one of three choices uh, you can move one space in any direction uh, or you can move according to the animal that you're on or C, take a landmark token. Um, if you're on, uh, if you're, if you have a landmark token, there are landmark tokens that are in the deck. There are five different types. One that corresponds to each of the locations in Yosemite. Uh, if one of these landmark tiles come out, we're going to put the corresponding, the corresponding landmark token on it. And if you are on that spot, you can take the token. Well, there's one drawback: is that you do not naturally move off of that space. It takes your entire turn to take that landmark token. The cool thing is that's going to be worth a lot of points to you at the end of the game if for some reason you have taken a lot of pictures at that location. Now, if you've taken no pictures there, I wouldn't recommend seeking out that particular landmark tile. It's true. Um, but they can earn you a lot of points uh, at the end of the game. Uh, if you've taken, for example, if you've taken one picture at that location, you're going to get two bonus points. For two pictures, five bonus points. For three, you'll get nine. And for four matching, you're going to get 14. You can do it. So, uh, we don't know exactly what cards are here. There's exactly 10 cards in this picture deck. Two of them are shown and eight of them are in reserve. Um, 
and the game end will trigger when there is only one card left on the board, meaning we cannot replenish. There will be nine cards between me and Steph and one card left on the table. And that's when the game end will trigger. So, um, so moving one space in any direction, that's pretty self-explanatory. Taking a landmark token, that's also pretty self-explanatory. Uh, moving according to the animal you're on, your movement is going to be based on, on where you start. So if you start on a red fox, you can move one, two, or three spaces, and then you get to take the fox that you started on. So I would go like one, two, if I wanted to take the snake next, and I would then take the fox. So. Uh, and then I get to do the bonus uh, action of whatever sort that I am on. Uh, for example, since I am on a green tile, uh, I would get to take a picture. If I have tiles that match one of these photo cards. Um, if I start on a black bear, I can move exactly two spaces in one direction, in a single direction, and then I can move my opponent one space in any direction. So if I think that you really, really want that fox tile, and I'm not starting on a bear tile, I will move exactly two spaces in one direction and move you off of that fox tile, maybe onto that bear tile. So, um, the bighorn sheep. If I start on the bighorn sheep, I can move any number of spaces in the same direction. You're basically going to charge. Now, one space is any number of spaces in the same direction. Um, you cannot choose zero, um, but uh, you can move all the way across the board, straight through, and then take the bighorn sheep, and then do the action in the corner. Um, if you choose the rattlesnake, you can't, uh, you can't cross over people, though. Right? Oh, yeah, that is that is something that's really important, that you cannot... Uh, there are certain ones that you can cross over people, not the bighorn sheep. I cannot pass through you. I could go to the bear. Right. I could go to the other sides. I could go to the fox, but I cannot go to the bear beyond you. Um, there are certain, uh, certain animals that can do that, and that is the rattlesnake and the cougar. So let's say you are on this rattlesnake, you can move one or two spaces. Uh, if you land on your opponent, you get to move them one space in any direction. Um, so uh, if you were to move, oh also let's say it was two spaces away like this, you could indeed go one, two, landing on me and making me scatter in any direction and so once once she's there i cannot knock her off like if i'm on this fox i can't go one two and push her off that just doesn't work like that um the other animal that allows you to jump to or through somebody is the cougar the cougar allows you to pounce to the edge of the park in one direction so i could jump here 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 or here not any of the spaces in between here's the cool thing if i go to you or through you, then I move. I get to move you up to two spaces. So, or um, uh, it, it doesn't even need to be in the same direction. Uh, or I could just leave you where you are if I think that you really don't want that thing. But why would you be there, right? So I probably just do that and move you off onto. Well, I probably move you off onto the bear. So now, if I moved you onto the jaguar, then you could pounce on top of me, making me move out of the way so that you can take whatever piece that goes there. So anyway, that is basically it for all of the different movement types. Now the bonus is in the corner. I've already talked to you about taking a picture. There are two other ones, fish, which will give you one fish and the camping, which will move the camping tent. Currently, it is on no space in particular, but once it moves onto the track, it will stay on the track for the rest of the game. So if I have started on the rattlesnake and I move two to make you scatter one, uh, then, or, uh, yeah, uh, one space in any direction, yeah, I got that right. Um, then I will put the token on my space. If later on you are on a camping space and you do it, you're gonna move it 
to your side of the board. And it's going to be worth one, three, or five points based on how far you have moved it to the other edge. Hopefully you've moved it as far as you can to the other edge because that's going to be worth a whole lot of uh, extra points for you. Now, if I'm here and it's going to go one more time, hey, what do I get? I get a point that can never be taken away from me. So, uh, there are 20 different photos, four for each location. So we don't, I should probably should not have looked at the, uh, at that one that I looked at. Um, because uh, there are four, since there are four for each location, you might not get a full set of, of those tokens. So um, the game uh, end will trigger, excuse me, just one second while I get to the, the end game will trigger um, when you go to refill a card, but there's none left. And then you're gonna count up points. Uh, if for some reason that the stack of tiles runs out, then you just take the discarded ones and no, it's the, uh, yeah, you, yeah, that's exactly what you do. Because if I spend to take one of these pictures, I will put these all in the discard pile. And basically I've collected uh, these, uh, all of these tiles before. So you don't really waste anything. Um, the ones that I've collected are already right here in this group shot. Um, so uh, for purposes of finding out who has the most foxes, add up all the, um, tiles in your hand and all of the pictures you have taken and whoever has the most foxes will get four points and bighorn sheep four points that is basically it it's super easy to teach okay let's do this thing Can let's you... do this i am first i started off on the bighorn sheep uh yeah let's start off by going let's see you're on the cougar no i'm on the fox you're on oh yeah you're on the fox sorry I did not mean to spoil you. Uh, I am going to go from the bighorn sheep to the bear, taking this into my hand. Oh, look, I've managed to start off with a full set. So for my bonus action, that's what I will do and take this El Capitan picture. Thank you for the awesome deal. Stuff's like, yeah, whatever. I need the rules because I can't remember all of the actions for all of the animals. Sounds good. Uh, there's a handy dandy chart on the back. However, it's awful small, it's really small with all of these. The We just keep it turned to this. It's really descriptive as to what you can do okay, with these. The I will do that. I'm going to put it up here for you. All right. And then spoil all of your carefully placed tent tokens. Here, I move a fish. Yep, you got a fish. And, yeah, that's Which will it. help you move before, oh, to, to Alumni metal, Meadows. So you have to move to there and do nothing. Yeah, though, on, yeah, on your turn, if you start there, so, or I can use two fish to move to here and take that token mm -hmm. on my turn. Here's the catch. My next turn, I have no fish to move off. Mm -hmm. My next turn is spent entirely by moving one space. So that's probably not a very strategic move, I would say. All right, the bear gets to move exactly two spaces. Um, so, and then I get to scare you away. Maybe you wanted to be scared away. Hmm. So I am going to go from in one direction so I cannot and I cannot end up on where you are either so Not I guess I guess I'm going here and moving the token to here actually it was started on the five you moving me uh, yeah I'm gonna move you onto this cougar all right I will go down here. Mm -hmm. And you get my tent token. Yep. Refilling. I have a bear. Um, no. 
he he moved he in his example he moved it down to zero, but he didn't actually do the move, so I gave him his two fish back. Oh, thank you. So fish. Th if you have fish, they just stay. If you use fish, they're just gone. Yep, and you have to use it before you take your action. Bridal veil falls. Mm, snake, snake, snake. I could go just to the fox, I guess. What does the fox say? I'll go to the snake. I'll take a picture. It's looking like a snake. And a snake. And a snake. And, and a, a bear. bear. And, and a, a fox. fox. How about this one? Like, that looks good. That looks good. And it is Mariposa Grove. Ooh, let's look, I have another El Capitan picture. Uh, badger, this, badger, 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 snake. Badger, 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 badger. You are on a snake. Snake. I don't want you to land on me. Mm-hmm. I don't like my tiles. I don't like the things that are in front of me here. Everything needs snack. Snack, snack, snack. I think I am going to use my fish to move over here to this jaguar and go pounce. And of course, I, I do not have a picture to take. Now, when you deal out your original 25 tiles, you cannot have any of these tiles already shown on the on the map. So when does the circle token move? So you have to actually, when, you, when one of these tiles pops up, then you put the matching tile on it and that tile can be claimed whenever someone starts their turn there or moves onto there before their action starts. They will spend their action to take the token. And that will get bonus points of either 0, 2, 5, 9, or 14, depending on how many matching. Like if I've taken many of these Mariposa Grove pictures, then I will get lots and lots of bonus points. Yeah, you actually have to spend your action on the tile, not moving, basically. Correct. I, I went, so you went. It, it, it's you. So I'm on the, the big horn sheet. Yeah. Moving any number of spaces in the same direction. How about one whole space in the same direction? Bloop. I'll spend two of my fish to go here. Nice, and, and then take for your action. action, there you go. I'll take it. I have a card that matches, so that yes. made sense to it do. It does seem to make sense. And that's it. Um, I am going to take the snake, and I will not encounter you. But I do get a fish for it. I'll spend a fish to move off, I guess. Oh boy, I guess I'll go to the bear and I can go where with the bear? Two spaces in one direction. And then move me no matter where I am. So I get the bear, mm -hmm. move you to a bear. Bear. And I could take a picture Good. with a bear, a cougar, and a snack. Snack. Not Mariposa Grove, though, but that's fine. All right. Oh, let's see. On a bear. More importantly, on a picture you may or may not want to take. <laughs> but 
but you could you have tons of fish. You could spend I do have fish. fish. I'm gonna spend a fish. Move to this fox. Take Earth. the fox. One, two. Is that where I want to be? Could move one extra. True. If I wanted to. Yep. Sure. That's what I'm gonna do. And replace. Well, I do have a. Picture. I do have a picture opportunity. Mm. Just depends on what I want to. So there's that, and that, and that. Bridal Veil Falls. Whee! Four points. Wow. Which one is next? Mariposa Grove. What is, do I have? That mm -hmm. is one of them that you have. All right, I will go, I guess, here and get some tent. All right. You are on a big horn sheep, just like me. What? Thanks for following, Blue. I yeah, thanks. It. thanks. Appreciate Blue. it. We were deep in thought. And Bad Pretty is looking to play some Star Trek. Oh, some very pinball. cool. Sure, I will take this bighorn sheep. Okay. Move the token. Place a tile. Yosemite Valley popping out. Wow. El Capitan. Has not popped out though. Bridal Veil fails. Bridal Veil Falls did. But I've only got one of each, so it's not like it's calling to me yet. Whee! Just go there. I'll get that. Fish. Got a fish. Looks like I have a snack. Snack. Going clear over everything. Um, taking another one of those. Popping out wow. there is El Capitan. Everything. I still only have one though. Not helping me any. Snake. 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 I can like go here. Yes, and then you can move me. Oh. On to Mariposa Grove. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> That's super rude. All right, I will uh, picture this. Mariposa Grove, another picture of a snake, a cougar, and a sheep. That seems really good. Yes. Got a Yosemite Valley popping out. Bear, bear, cougar, fox. Mm. Uh, I am going to use two fish to go to the snake and use the snake to go to you. <laughs> um, move one or two spaces if you land on... I can do the same thing to you. Uh, I do get a fish for my troubles. All right, I'll spend my fish I just got and go here. Hop onto the fox. I'll What's take say? it. It was white, so that's happening, and I'm gonna go. Up to three spaces. Sure, I'll just run away from you. Run away! Run away. Moving here, taking Fox. I don't think I have a picture opportunity at this time. I do not. It's sad. Okay, I will go down here. I'll take another one of these. Yes. You are hitting every one of those. Yes. Yes. Me? Yes. Moving two spaces. One, two, knocking you off, moving you one space. Bridal Veil Fall seems rather useless for you. I will go there, and I'm gonna take a pretty picture of El Capitan. Two of those, and one of these, 
and one of these. Those four, whoa, the discard pile disappeared. Toop. Refill. I'll just move here. You. Me. Move two spaces, take bear, move this, flip this out. All right, so the bear goes two spaces in our direction, and I can move you. Oh, yeah, I had a bear. Hold on. I had a bear. Well, I should probably. You can move me then. I should probably move you off just to make sure that you don't. Just put me back. Yeah, I'm going to put you back. Fine. Make you eat all those fish. You. Oh, you already ate all those fish. I have a snack. I have a snack. Do I actually want to go for it with only one fish to my name? It's probably not real safe. Currently it's worth five bonus points, so it's really not bad. Whoops. Take. Hello, Fox. Um, let's see. Two spaces to here. And I'll move you over here. I get a fish. Fish! to move one and for the fox and the snake and the big horn I'm going to take this Yosemite Valley picture you put out that like all the bears are needed like all the bears okay. I'll go there have no picture I take this, and that is my entire turn. Yep. I will... Um... You can move me one space. I no figured. need. <laughs> no, there is no need. Literally no need to move me off of that. I'm going to have to use one to move before taking the snake and going to spaces where I want to move to. How about to a fish? Take the snake, move the thing. Snake. Hmm. We have one more picture tile left. So two more pictures can be taken. I will go here. Not wrong. One of these. Okay. Cougar pounce. Cougar pounce stay here. Take a fish. All right, I will bear. Bear, let's see. So that is that. This, this. going to go here to the big horn I get this bear what picture are you taking 
Bear. Well, they definitely have bears in it. Bear. Antlers. And snake. Bear, bear, antler, snake. Bear, bear, antler, snake. Yeah. And another Mariposa Grove for you. Wow. Well, is that it? Or are we no, still No, we have... get one more. What? Yep, we get one more. Pounce. Putting this out. Does it end on your turn or do I get one more turn after? Because I was That's second. a good question. Because it probably matters. The game is immediately when a player goes to refill a card from the photo deck, but there are none left. Yeah, mistakes have been made. You have a thousand tiles? Yeah. I have a thousand tiles. So I will spend a fish to go here and... and steal my tent. Yeah, I guess. No, wrong. This. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You gotta take a picture? Maybe. So take the bighorn sheep. Uh, it doesn't really matter where I go to because I am going to take a picture. If I had enough fish to go here, I could have grabbed that token, which would have been more points. But bear, fine. bear, cougar, and fox. For another Yosemite Valley, but I don't have a bonus tile for it. So that is where we end. Um... How many bighorn sheep do you have total? Two. I have one, two, three, four. Yeah. So I get the most of those. And then most foxes. I do not have any spare foxes. I do have four foxes. Four. So nobody. I believe nobody gets it. Ugh, that's the worst. So El Capitan is worth five. Your Mariposa Grove is worth five. And then count from there. He kicked my butt. 27. Less than that. Less than 27. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. 4, 10, 7, 14, 19. 19. Yep. yep. That is the game. So fairly close scores in this because you can't really collect, you know, more than nine photos um, total. So usually it will have, it'll be a 5-4 split like this. So super fast game. Yeah. Um, uh, definitely, there's there's a lot of good. If I had decisions. one more fish, I could have got that. Which would have been Talumni Meadows, the, but, the token. I mean, what yeah. really killed me was not having fish losing two turns in a row. I mean, me, I, I knew me I was putting you taking off the the. But you had it, fish to get off I had, of it. I had so fish it to get off. It didn't matter. Of it. Yeah, you put me there, and then I put you, you back you there. Need and, fish, yeah. all right. That's the key. <laughs> you need fish. Keep. Get that's the, the thing. Fish. Oh, one more point for me. Um, no. <laughs> I was on you the tent. You missed it. Mm -mm. <laughs> you missed it. That's fine. I'm going to put it in my app. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. <laughs> so definitely worth checking out Yosemite from WizKids. Yeah. Uh, I think that there are, with the five different movements on the board... Um, and having the three different bonus action types. I think there's enough interesting decisions here without it being overwhelming. <laughs> um, especially if you have someone that, who is AP in your group, then probably not going to take a lot of time to try to min-max the whole situation. Um, yeah, it's just a quick two-player game, so you can't you just play again. Right, just, exactly. <laughs> just play again. Yeah, exactly. Take quick turns and have a good time. It's yep, cute. Absolutely. It's pretty. I like it. Two-player, and especially for those who really enjoy two-player gaming I oh mean, yeah we did a lot sure. of that during covid time oh yeah and so um and it's the same size box as all the other two-player games i don't know if WizKids has any other like this but like you know cosmos and all of the ones over there oh yeah they did seastead i love that WizKids. oh game. chaosmos and and no, Le down here no down where it's right next to your head like yes 
over. Ta this? Yes. That's this? the same size box. Oh, Seastead? Like Targi and, and all that. Like all with Cosmos those, yes. and... I yeah, got you. All those two-player games only. Just like that. It's same size box. So definitely go check it out. Yeah. Uh, quick 20-minute game. Yosemite. Yeah. Kids. 